Hello guys, it's Spiridonov here. We are going to talk about, uh, of course, head transplant today. Uh, the topics that were not covered since my last uh, interviews about half a year ago, I believe. Many things happened after that. At first, this is supposed to be periscope stream, but I decided to uh, record this video because uh, I need to cover some questions which already uh, arrived to me and uh, I will try to fill gaps uh, since my last interviews. Please, if you want to get deeper into this topic, uh, check my uh, interview which was done in the United States uh, a year ago. It has some English subtitles. It will make uh, clear uh, the topic of uh, who I am and uh, what I do and what I try to achieve. So, uh, many people ask me uh, what are the preparations uh, for the upcoming surgery, which we announced a year ago. Um, I have to be honest, uh, there are no preparations from my side. Of course, Canavero is uh, busy a lot and uh, he does uh, lots of uh, tests, uh, he gives interviews, he uh, talks about uh, technical details, uh, but uh, to me uh, there is nothing. My life hasn't changed uh, a lot uh, since uh, last year. Of course, uh, I have a lot of new friends now, but um, actually nothing changed uh, dramatically. I still do my job, I do uh, software development, uh, 3D modeling, animation, uh, researches, some computer stuff, you know. As for the medical side uh, of my life, you know, I even rarely visit uh, a doctor because my condition is uh, pretty stable. It's not so dramatically changing as it was announced in press uh, uh, first time. Of course, uh, no one is getting younger, you know. I am still able to uh, manipulate computers, smartphones, uh, joystick of my wheelchair, so uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty fine. Okay, you know you can do a lot of things with this. Uh, you can travel, you can uh, work, you can learn, you can um, talk to friends and uh, all this stuff. So I'm I'm pretty happy with my life now, and uh, I am involved uh, into this experiment because I eager to move. Uh, the science ahead in this direction uh, because actually I believe in transplantology I believe that technical advances can significantly improve uh, human lives and uh, this medical experiment we're talking about is uh, you know pretty exciting because new materials new rehabilitation techniques uh, new drugs new um, new ways of treatment so for me it is important to be uh, involved into something uh, big, uh, into something uh, which can make a uh, scientific breakthrough, uh, but uh, it's, it's not uh, the goal of my life, it's not the, uh, the only thing I dream of, no, it's, it's not about this. As I said already, my life is full of joy and I'm not going to uh, go for some expensive euthanasia, you know, expensive suicide, of course, it's not about me. I, uh, I love living and I love uh, doing all the stuff which I can do today, even with my uh, physical limitations. But of course, uh, if this can be achieved, you know, this body transplant uh, surgery, uh, I believe uh, it will be a pretty good way to uh, get rid of uh, the physical limitations uh, to change some of the you know body machinery as I call it to upgrade it but let's get back to today's events uh, today I work hard today I work a lot uh, it's not uh, only software development but I also uh, write articles for our Russian media these articles are about uh, science, medicine, uh, handicap, environment, accessibility, 
politics and so on, but they are all in Russian, sorry. Me and Canavero often talk in Skype. Uh, we discuss uh, the future plans, future upcoming events. Our uh, great achievement is that uh, Canavero's scientific articles are published in the surgery uh, magazine, surgery journal. Uh, it is a famous medical professional journal uh, and uh, it means that if they are published there they have some science behind and Canavero's data is proved. What is this data about? Uh, this data is about uh, influence of uh, PEG, polyethylene glycol, on spinal cord reconnection. It has been achieved uh, on mice. Uh, mice's spinal cord uh, has been uh, cut and then fused back again. Uh, they were able to move after the surgery. This is true. And Chinese are pretty advanced in this technology already. A couple of days ago, Canavero announced that surgery may take place in Germany. But I will be honest, I know nothing about achieved agreements with the uh, German side. Uh, maybe Canavero knows. Uh, but I know nothing about this. So today Canavero announced uh, at least uh, four countries which can be involved in this project. It's uh, China, Russia, uh, Vietnam and Germany. And uh, we of course know that China is uh, pretty advanced in this research. Uh, they are doing a lot of tests with uh, rats. The majority of these tests are successful. So they prove that uh, PEG can be used uh, to fuse spinal cord. But here's where comes uh, the tricky part. We are expecting uh, official announce uh, from some of the clinics that they are ready to work on Canavero's technology. As I know, Canavero still lacks money for this because it's pretty hard to invest uh, when no clinic has announced uh, officially that they are involved uh, into this research. From my point of view, we still uh, need to do some tests on animals because, uh, as you know, no one has ever seen a long living animal after the surgery. Uh, it concerns me, of course, a lot because I'm not crazy, you know. I need to have some proofs that this technology works. Better proofs than just a mouse living 24 hours after the surgery. Uh, but I understand that these tests cost money. I believe uh, we will know something new about this in upcoming months. Until then, uh, I'm going to live my life and enjoy it a lot. So I encourage you to do the same. Uh, because, you know, life is amazing. And when you have a uh, possibility to do lots of uh, interesting stuff, you got to do this. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Ask uh, questions below. See you later.